Adventure Motor Cars followers, thank you for following our YouTube channel and subscribing to us. Today, we're going to do the opposite of our last video. We're actually going to put the soft top and windows on the 1994 AA Yellow Defender. Um, by the way, happy 4th of July to everybody. Um, coming up this weekend. Start, as I said before, in the last video, when you take it off, you start in the back, you work your way forward. Now we're going to start forward, work our way back, but we still got to get the top on. So this is a little bit of a feat, um, but once it's already kind of warm and out, it starts with just a big heaving throw, uh, trying to work it all the way up to the windshield. And then just going around, making sure whole top is going to get forward. Um, I guess we'll start here. So once it's forward enough, it always helps when you have side steps to be able to stand on them. And we've got to get it in this rail right here. Um, that's going to be the first step and then these snaps right here. So once we have it forward like we do, then we're going to tuck it in under these light tabs and get it started at least enough to where we can go to the other side and it'll stay put. So once you have it in this belt rail up here, just at least started like this is, then it's a good time to go to the next side and get that started. There's a lot of moving side to side. That's just the nature of, of this archaic top, but it works. So same thing, we're gonna get it in the belt rail and then the way you know you're in is it's just it's going to pull back um, and it'll feel right and it'll slide all the way back level um, right here we're going to do these snaps here on the header bar these are good because it centers it left and right you can't be too far this way or that way all right and i'm going to finish up the header bar on that side and again just kind of tucking to make sure it all slides back, makes a little clicking noise, get the snap on, and we're in. So the next thing we gotta make sure is around these uh, gaskets here that we're already in, all the way around. So you wanna pull this to where it's like that on both sides, and then it can be pulled all the way back. Um, this is the point where I generally take these five snaps back if you don't do it now, you can get the whole top on, not realize that they're stuck and have to redo the whole top. So now it's kind of down and tidy. Again, we're going to grab this, make sure this is around all the way. Once that's there, then we're just going to do our uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 22 snaps. So we've already done these two. And we're just going to start with this tab of three, one, two, three. Then we're going to do these two here. One, two. Um, and again, making sure this stays tucked in the gasket the whole time. If, if this comes out, it's just not going to seal. Also, once that's down, it's got a Velcro piece. It'll Velcro really nicely. Good way to check yourself. And shut the door and make sure it seals. And, and that's a win. I mean, anytime you've got the gasket touching, that's good. A lot of times, especially when it's cold, you're gonna have a gap there. But if this is touching and it's got a little lip here for a rain gutter and this is touching, that's a win. So uh, let's do, Actually, next up in here on this uh, V pillar, we got these five snaps. Same thing. If you don't get to these early, the top will be down too much. We won't be able to get it down at all. So one, two, three, four, five. I generally start in the middle because that just kind of centers it. The top is going to want to go left and right on you, and you want to make sure that you stay pretty centered. So now we're going to go to the passenger side and 
Do the five snaps over this door. And it's the same way. We're going to hold this in. Do one, two, three, four, five. Making sure all the while that this gasket is still tucked in here really nice. Starting to take shape. I'm gonna tuck this in for a second. We'll have to undo it for the windows. We can at least know that we got a seal. So again, that seal, this seal is off. Tuck the door. There it goes. It had some movement there. Now we got a seal. This little rain gutter here, it's in around the gasket and down there. So that's a win. Um, we've got these five, these five, and those five. We've done the two on the header bar. It's the only snaps we have left are on the very back. So these in the very back. One. Two, three, four, and the last one, five. Um, it's kind of the pain of the, of the whole top is getting these two little Velcro um, pieces in. It's good to Do those now because once the top is on, the windows are in, it's just going to get harder. Well, this other one. And this is the Alpine bar. Um, there's a few pieces of hardware that you need for this top. Uh, one was the header bar, which we tucked in by the windshield. Then we have the five stud bars, which are over the doors which already did these, and this is the Alpine bar. This just reduces the flapping. If you don't have it, it's just gonna flap really, really bad. Uh, I'm gonna stop here and go to the windows. Last time we put it in the window bag. So we're going to grab the first window. And this one is passenger side. Uh, generally always best to get started on top and then you can do the sides. Um, starting of the zippers is always the toughest part because they just want to they just want to hang and kind of be in your way. Um, I generally don't do them all the way till they're all in, so that's one and a half way. Two kind of half way. And then three kind of half way. Um, it's, it's real important to get this back because if you don't, this top is going to pull back and then you're going to lose your seal on your doors. So now the window's in, you can keep it shut and it's gonna hold it right here. You can finish and zip up one, finish two, velcro down, and three. Um, the top fits in the belt rail. The last time we took it off, now we're just gonna be tucking it back in this belt rail. And same thing here. So now we got the window in, it's still sealed to the door. Got two more windows left. Um, the back one is important because if you do the sides and you don't do the back, you can have a big gap, like a an inch gap back here. So we'll do that next. Again, same thing. Start at the top of the first one, and it's just the hardest to get the zippers started. One, two, 
and this is generally the toughest one is this one up in here um, when you're putting this back on having this top loose is is really nice this is the tension I'm talking about here so you guys see I'm zipping it see how tight it is there and then it gets looser 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 so because the top is kind of loose you can kind of lift it up cheat a little bit and then pull it back down and, and you're good to go so we're gonna kind of keep these kind of half till we get this last window because we're gonna need all the slack we can get so the very last window we'll grab out of the window bag Same thing, we'll start at the top. Land Rover decided to put these zippers kind of in a hard to reach place. The Badger Coachworks top and the Rover's North top zippers are a lot easier to get to, but same theory, they're just different places. Again, halfway there, one. Two, and then we, again, it's wanting to pull back. So we're going to pull it forward as much as we can. Make sure we still got a good seal, which we do. Pull that forward a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, that's really nice. So we're going to have to finish this up now that it's jammed in the door. That's one, two, and then the third one. I can't stress enough how much heat is such a big part of this. Uh, watching this video in the winter, it is not going to go like this. So we have a few tricks while I'm putting the top on. Again, I've just done one, two, three. I'm going to tuck it in. Uh, the first is a space heater. Um, you can run a space heater in, open the window up, put it in the back seat area if you flip the seat up, and that will really help to, um, to heat it up. you got to be careful. If you get too much heat on it, the windows will start to bubble. I know from personal experience. Um, second, it's kind of like a washeteria, um, somewhere that you can throw it in a commercial size dryer. Uh, we do that for the top, not the windows. Um, I guess you could do it with the windows in the bag. And just anything to, to get heat. Um, Right now, it's going on really easy because it's probably 95 degrees outside. It's July in Birmingham. So we're going to finish tucking in on the belt rails here. And even as hot as it is, it's tight. All right, so they're all zipped in now. Final thing, zip these down, get these in here. Um, I generally always start with the inside one. Um, you can manipulate it kind of where you want it to go. Um, you can see this one's got a tear here. It's kind of common, but when you get it down, it's fine. The last thing is over here to get this one down. This is a tough one man job, but it is doable. And zip it back down. You're good to go. Now, a lot of them have the tailgate bars. This one doesn't. Um, that's not that big of a deal to do. I can probably post that in another video, but now if you want to walk around, we've got top on for weather tight. So we've had some ideas for some new videos. One is the fiberglass hard top, taking that on, taking that off. Uh, so if you've got something, subscribe to our YouTube channel, put in the comments a video you'd like to see. Uh, if it pertains to the North American Spec Defender, we'd love to feature it. Thanks, guys.